Let's try this again. All right, so Christian Manifesto, Chapter 4, Summary. This is a short one. I probably should have placed two of them together, but here it is. I start off that essay by sharing a quote from Francis Schaeffer. He says, quote, most fundamentally, our culture, society, government, and law are in the condition they are in, not because of, cons of a conspiracy, but because the church has forsaken its duty to be the salt of the culture, unquote. And we'll share more about that later. So humanism, uh, the worldview, the humanism, is the worldview that states that man is a measure of all things is a religion. And in 1961, the Supreme Court, in the case called the Torcaso versus Watkins, the court rightly def defines secular humanism as a religion. I personally would add that is it is a false religion and worldview. And the main point with that is that everyone has a worldview, everybody. Atheism is a worldview, it is religion, it, it, it is a belief system. When it has to do with answering the deep questions of life, where do we come from, where are we going, how should we live, and what is the purpose of life, among other things, it answers that question, whether, whether directly or negates by default. Hedonism, Scientism, all the isms, Buddhism, Mormonism, everyone has a worldview and everyone has a religion. And secular humanism is one of those. And as much as many of these organizations are trying to get a traditional understanding of religion out of the public square, they are selling something too. Everybody's selling something. Everyone is positing their worldview as true, even though they may not actually put, put it in the vernacular. And this humanistic worldview has infiltrated every... Uh, every area of society. How? Well, there's a plethora of examples. Uh, here are a few. In government schools, there's an, ideolo there's an ideological preclusion against teaching theism, even when it matches the curriculum and, is, it is ob when, and, and even when it is objectively taught as history. So just a simple fact that teaching theism, even from, let's say, the our civic DNA, if you're an American citizen, the Declaration of Independence it names the Creator, Providence, and the Supreme Judge of the Universe, referring to the God of the Bible, to re referring to God in particular, and the God of the Bible specifically in particular. And so even if you teach that as, even teaching that as history, or as related to our, the curriculum, it becomes an issue. Related to this, to related to this, creation is "quote unquote" forbidden to be taught in, the, in these schools, and Darwinian macroevolution is taught as a, as factual and true. So, no to theism, yes to Darwinian macroevolution that we came from apes, and we it's a no, it's a, it's it's a valueless system they say, and that there is no value system, and education does not speak to values and things like that. That is a materialistic worldview, and it's a false worldview. But this is what's what this is what taught in this is what taught in the government schools. Next example, public television favors secular humanist humanistic programming over theistic programming. One example of this is when a particular public television station refused to broadcast Francis Schaeffer's movie or documentary, Whatever Happened to the Human Race. And they refused to program they it was refused programming because this documentary actually condemned the murdering of children in the womb called the abortion and yet the same broadcasting company public broadcasting company they broadcasted a series called hard choices because this programming favored the murder of children in the womb so these are just a few examples of how humanism has, has permeated our aspects of life so it's essentially is saying that we can democratize truth that man is the measure of all things, and we decide we decide what what value is and what truth is, and or what or or that there there is no truth, or your truth or my truth, and and we're going to somehow democratize this truth, and then I was going to say egalitarian, but there is no egalitarianism because the Christian worldview is pretty much shunned in the far in the, in the marketplace of ideas, so. If a, if a person is a Christian, they are compelled to continue to be salt and light in the world and to not be intimidated by this culture.
and by the forces of evil that are behind the worldviews of these uh, of, of people operating under this. We still have a worldview. We still have truth, and we don't come. We didn't come up with it. We just acknowledge that God is the source of all truth, and He has spelled this out for us very plainly. So, humanism is a religion. And the only way to dispel it is when Christians live out biblical Christianity. So that's my exhortation to believers this day. That in the name of Jesus, that you would be strong and courageous and walk out your faith as Christ has ordered you to and commanded you to. And me, under the power of the Holy Spirit, Christ, the wisdom of God, the light of the world, the bread of life, the resurrection of life, the Prince of Peace. He is the victor. He will always be the victor. It's always been about him, it is about him, and it will always be about him. So walk in victory today. Amen.